Anne Bradley from the Tactical Performance Center. Thank you so much for joining me for another homework video. Last time we talked about how to warm up. This time I want to talk about how to put our stance, our grip, and our trigger control to the test. Now a great way to test our fire control is to use rhythm. The human brain loves rhythm. We naturally gravitate towards it. So this can be an excellent tool that us as shooters can utilize. Rhythm can push us out of our comfort zone and take us to a whole new performance level. Now for today's drill, we're gonna shoot the triple bars target. Now remember, you can find all of our targets online on our website. Now for this drill, I want to suggest that beginner shooters shoot at three yards and advanced shooters shoot it at five yards. Now what we're gonna be doing is shooting at three different rhythms or paces one rhythm per bar. Now for our first rhythm, we are going to be shooting at the pace of one shot per second. Now this pace might be used when we're shooting a very far target or very small target. So this group should be very small. For our next bar, we're going to be shooting at the pace of one shot per half a second. This is about our middle distance rhythm. So here our group can slightly open up, but it still should be relatively small. For our last bar, we're gonna be shooting at the pace of one shot per quarter second. This is our close quarters, big target pace. So here, I wanna ask you guys to just keep your shots within the bar. Our group will definitely open up, but no shots should be going out of the bar. All right, now I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of how this should be shot. Remember, I'm gonna say the count out loud once and then fire on the second count and fire on the numbers. For the first count, it's going to sound like this. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. For the second count, it's going to sound like this. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. For the last rhythm, I'm gonna say the count out loud twice to kind of get the rhythm in my head just a little bit better. And then I'll fire on the third count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, really quick, I wanna recommend that if you can have a shooting partner help you with this, it would be a lot easier on you if you have your shooting partner say the rhythm out loud so that you can just focus on getting the rhythm and shooting your group. If you do not have a shooting partner, you can also video or record a voice memo on your phone of you saying the rhythm out loud and then just hit play before you shoot so that you don't have to worry about actually saying the rhythm out loud or in your head. All right guys, now that we've shot our groups, there's a few things that I want you to analyze. First, how did it feel? Did your grip and your stance hold up or do you feel like you had to break rhythm because something broke down? Second, how was your trigger control? Were you able to maintain good, consistent trigger control even as you sped up your rhythm? Now last, I want you to take a look at your group size. If you feel like your group size opened up more than it should and your shots were very inconsistent, you need to find out what broke down. Why? Because if we never find out what broke down, we don't know what to practice. And if we don't know what to practice, we'll never get any better. Now don't be one of the thousands of shooters out there that plateaus and never reaches their goals. Come to TPC and we'll teach you how to get better with each and every practice session. Thanks guys, we'll see you next class.